Warning, cheaters may contain adult themes and strong language. Parents are cautioned that this program may not be suitable for children. Coming up on this episode of Cheaters. And here they are in the club talking, and they were here for several hours. She actually leans over and kisses him. Oh, no, 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 just excuse me. He's, he's just in the bathroom and he plays his damn guitar. No, it's not, it's not just nothing. I have Look, video. I have video. From Cheaters surveillance cameras, you are about to view actual true stories filmed live, documenting the pain of a spouse or lover caused by infidelity. This program is both dedicated to the faithful and presented to the false-hearted to encourage their renewal of temperance and virtue. Just like you're just trying to keep a big secret from me. I just can't go on anymore. I need to know the truth. I don't like being the one that has to show you this. Oh. I asked her about his, and she said nothing's going on. Do you want to confront him? Oh, yeah. Take me there. Yeah, I got him. Hey, go. Go. Get right. up, get up. Get up. Get up. Whoa, whoa. This is, like, not how this is supposed Whatever, to work. Just go. Go with him. I love him. I'm surprised. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Welcome, I'm Joey Greco. Thank you for watching this episode of Cheaters. Please meet Terry Cox, a young woman with suspicions that her musician boyfriend uses his charismatic personality to charm another lover. Frustrated and confused, Terry contacts Cheaters for insight into his mysterious ways. Terry Cox age 30. A student who fears her boyfriend, Patrick, may be using his musical talents to serenade other women. I met him at a club called Lucky Blues. Um, he was sweet, and I'm kind of fascinated. He's been really good to me. I got my own apartment here a couple months ago, and I figured it'd be great for us. We could, you know, hang out there, and we could do our own thing quite a bit and ever since I've got it it's like he's made no effort to be there and the sex has really died. Here recently there's something that's kind of come up that I need to get checked out and it's giving me a little cause for concern. If he's been doing something that's what I'm very worried about, I mean I'm monogamous when I'm with my person, you know, my man and and I'm afraid that he might have given me something. I'm really con concerned that if he is cheating on me, that I need to find out now, because if what I find out is true when I go to visit the doctor next week, I need to know. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters licensed investigators may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Patrick Owens, age 36, a musician suspected of giving exclusive backstage passes to unsuspecting groupies for a solo project. Investigation day three. Cheaters PIs patiently trail Mr. Owens every move and are soon rewarded when an unknown female is spotted walking towards him at a local coffee shop. The two waste no time and immediately go inside for refreshments. As they carry on with some casual conversation, the female companion's body language initially suggests that her interest is simply platonic. Perhaps fearing the possibility of striking out with his potential love mate, Owens brings her out onto the patio and breaks out his guitar to serenade her with an old-fashioned love song. Hello? Hey, baby. What hey, you doing? Oh, uh, just uh, practicing here. Practicing? Yeah. Well, I thought you were going to come over and visit with me tonight. Well, I haven't been getting any from you, and I miss you. Well, I'm writing a little bit of a new song. I've got to work on it. I know, but I'm important, too. Come on. Well, it's about you, but there's any consolation. Uh, a lot of consolation would be over here if you were over here right so, now. I will be over there. It'll be about an hour or two, maybe a little bit longer. Just... You said that the other day, and you didn't show. Uh -huh. If you don't show, you're dead. Don't worry. I love you. Love you too. Bye. 
Investigation day five. Cheaters watchdogs continue their pursuit of Owens, following him to a local bar. It soon becomes clear that his intentions are nothing short of romantic as he confidently strolls in to meet the girl with a bouquet of roses. Owens wastes no time in trying to seal the deal with the female, who has now been identified as Michelle Fester. Owens' expectations appear fulfilled as Fester smiles and giggles with contentment. It becomes obvious to the cheater's investigative team that Fester has warmed up to his dapper advances when she allows the slow caress of her back. She then leans over to return the favor with a loving smooch. At this time, there seems to be enough evidence to wrap up the case, but cheater's PIs press on. Hours later, the couple finally leaves the bar as Owens walks Fester to her car. But chivalry is obviously not his forte, as he slithers into the vehicle and immediately goes for the throat, grabbing Fester up in a fit of lust. After several tasteless minutes, Owens comes to his senses and excuses himself from the vehicle. His impulses get the best of him again, as he leans in for one final nightcap. But apparently, it's just not going to happen on this evening, and Owens walks back to his car with his long locks waving in the wind. Investigation day seven. On this night, Cheater's private eyes follow Owens to Fester's apartment. For over two hours, Cheater's detectives wait steadfastly by the music man's vehicle, but see nothing through the shades, leaving their activities up to the imagination. But all of a sudden, the two sneaky lovers appear through the blinds, and Cheater's sleuths are once again called to action. Fester seems to be marching to Owens' beat now. The two skip down the stairs hand in hand. Casually, the two stroll into the parking lot and eventually work their way back to his car. Unable to get enough, Owens holds on tightly even as Fester engages in a carefree conversation on her cell phone. Finally, the two hug and kiss goodnight. Owens has not yet had enough, but Cheater's investigators have and feel it necessary to lay out the evidence to Terry. After the break, the confrontation. Bringing to light the truth behind Terry's suspicions, Cheaters obligingly presents her with the evidence. Given these untimely developments, Terry searches her heart for the right thing to do. Well, let me show you what we were able to get. On this day of investigation, we followed him and he hung out outside this coffee shop until this, this woman arrived here. She has short black hair. They sat outside the coffee shop. He played music. Nothing really happened. They hung out, they talked. We followed him to this other club. He went and he met the same woman. And here they are in this, in the club talking. And they were here for several hours. He brought her flowers. That was the first hint that there was a problem. <laughs> She actually leans over and kisses him. Obviously, inappropriate behavior. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is he here? Yeah. That's the reason we brought you over here, because he's, he's in this club. We're going to give you the chance to talk to him right here in front of everybody, in front of the whole world, and I want to know why he's done this and why he's misled you and lied. I never did anything to him. No. You just let it go. <laughs> idiot. No, I'm an idiot. An idiot. <laughs> just excuse me. He's, a, he's just in the bathroom. He plays his guitar for tips. <laughs> I just here, have some more, take some more, it doesn't matter. Go ahead and give me something, why don't you just go? Let's go. Okay, we gotta go, they're at the front, they're out, they're out, let's go. At this valet stand. Excuse me, Patrick. You got a good time? My name's Tommy Grant from the time? TV show Cheaters. Would you like to explain yourself? Would you like no, to explain what you're... 
for you, dude. Why are you shoving me? Patrick. <laughs> just just giving me something. After two years, you, know you want to explain? It's nothing. We're just we're just going to have a drink. No, it. no, it's not. It's not just nothing. I have I video. Got video. I got your yes, it's why the tapes. Do you understand? Listen to me. Listen, nothing. Do you know what you've done to me? You used me. You used me. I have video footage of you at her apartment. I can't believe you. I don't have any proof. have any proof. You don't have any proof. You want to see it? Proof? I have video footage of you two. Three no, different occasions. Wait a little. I called that a girlfriend. I had no idea who your girlfriend did. No, no idea. Everybody knows who I am. We all know who you are. Yeah. You don't have any. And you, you, any... you got disease now because of that. No, and you give it to me. No, let me see the let me see the note. Let me see the doctor's note. You don't have nothing. Nothing. No. Nothing. You don't need You want to see video footage? We got you on video tape. Listen. listen. You're a loser! You're being attacked! You used me! You're taking my money! You shot my life out of me! You know I had a girlfriend? You know! I'm not going! I'm not going! What do you know? You're saying you're not having a girlfriend? 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 You're saying you're not having a girlfriend? 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 You're not You're not having a You're not having a girlfriend? 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 You're not Use me! You used me! Oh you sucked everything out of me! No, 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 no. I did everything no, 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 for us no, no, no. and you no, no. used me! No, no, just friends. no you're not! I've got you kissing her! Why are you lying? I've got you kissing her! You told her you were out with I your bed? You sure you got you No, know, don't even! Come here, come here, come here. Everything is gone! Coming up, the conclusion. I have footage of you spending hours at her. No, we're You're saying no? No. You want to save this relationship? Do you love her? Yes, yes. Then why have you been lying to her? It's two years, it's gone. I'm taking the other girl. Get him. Get him. No, I'm not. No, I don't even want to talk to you because it's not even worth it. Come on, your house your family is a big deal. No, they're not! Because they're going to laugh at you and go, you're a loser! Get away. You know what? Because on, I swear to God, I'm going to turn around and knock the out of you. Come on, come on. Come on. Let's get in my car. Let's get out of No, get away from me. I don't want you no more. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Guy. You don't have any problem with the lies you've been telling her? What, are you still not, you're not uh, stepping up to the truth? Just be honest with her one time. What's the matter? You're... You don't want to be honest about it? No, 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 no. I was sitting there. I was telling these people. They're like, no, you know, hopefully no, 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 something's no, no, no. going to be OK. But you know what? No, 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 no. I don't no, want to even talk to you. You know what? Like I don't give a I'm going to go in and have a drink. Come on, let's go have a shot. You gonna explain? You gonna you gonna fess up to what what you've been doing? You gonna be honest now? Is that what you're gonna do? You mind if he talks to you for a minute? Was it worth it? No. Like, you promised you wouldn't do this to me. I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Please. Sorry. Get down on your knees and say I'm you're sorry. sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. Get no, away from me, I've had enough. This isn't it. This enough. Isn't it. No, this isn't it. Uh, no, no, enough. No, don't pull on her. Listen, enough. Listen, enough. Listen. Who hey. are you? Who are you? Uh, hey, listen, pal. Listen, listen. You keep your hands off of her. Want a cigarette? You don't hit her. You she can talk me. to her. Listen, go with me. Come with me. Screw this. No, Screw no, this. you know what? Screw this. Come on. Come with me. Come no. With me. Please? No. Please. That's all there is to it? No. Please, Terry. Come on. Patrick. Please. Patrick, my love. Please. Mm. Oh, my love. Please. I hate you. Can we go now? Absolutely. Let her go. Let her come go. On, come on, come on. Goodbye.
After the confrontation, Terry and Patrick take some time to reevaluate their commitment. Stay tuned until the end of the show when Cheaters reveals the final outcome. But next, Cheaters presents the suspect from the Christine Preston case. Believing the public has the right to know the truth surrounding his involvement, the man remains incognito, but discusses his feelings on some personal issues. Identity withheld. A previous suspect agrees to speak with cheaters to clear up a few misconceptions about certain aspects of his case. The first thing I thought when I saw my wife was just a flood of emotion. I mean, it was, uh, you know, fear that she found out, but then there was a relief that she found out. I and mean, it was, you know, it was a cataclysmic account because of all those things coming together. Um, then when she started really hitting and kicking me, that's when the actual fear, the fight, you know, fight or fee, uh, flee thing kicks in and you just want to get out of the room. You want to get out of the situation as fast as you can. Joe? What the f you stumbled. I thought that I was pretty screwed. I thought that I, you know, I, I never thought I would get caught doing what I was doing. I, I had a plan, maybe not to come 100% clean, but definitely a plan to go to my wife and explain to her what had happened. You know, I, I had heard about this mistress through uh, people that I work with and they had gone a couple of times, it had worked out for them. And I always thought that I would, I would come to a closure point with that and then go. Um, the last thing I, I would, would thought that, you know, um, a bunch of buffoons would bop in with cameras, you know, and a, a badly dressed TV show host is gonna make me the headline news on CNN. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I am done with you! Do you understand me? Yeah, you better run, you piece of... Hey, wait. Come here, come here. What, what is your... Let's go and talk to her for a second. What, Hello. what do you want? Do you want to talk I'm to not her? with him anymore. Take this piece of... After the show, um, I just completely came clean with Christine, explained what was going on, my issues, and there was a lot of things about what was going on with me that she didn't understand. So I think in retrospect, after she saw the big picture, um, it was easier for her to deal with. Um, we took Mr. Skiki out, we had dinner, and we explained the whole process, what was going on, although she didn't agree with it. And there were certain, well obviously, you know, there was a lot of begging and pleading on my part. Um, a, a lot of going back and doing some patchwork in our relationship. And, and although I can't ever be where I needed to be back then, I can't relive those moments. I can definitely make an enormous effort to go back and repair them. I saw y'all in the car together. Again, she was helping What was going on in there? What? Well, no, well, there's why, been no why did you have to go I outside? saw y'all Well, I'm Joey Greco with Cheaters. Oh. You now, shut Or, or... Basically, you, I'm gonna be... Really? Yeah, you, okay. all your security guards, yeah. Joey! Oh my God, stop! What is wrong with you? Yeah, Christine and I both have uh, chosen a route to counseling where it was a, a decision based, um, a non-biased decision based on what exactly we were looking for. I didn't want her to refer one. I didn't want my friends to refer one. I wanted something for us to conclude together. Um, we sought out a therapist that would work through our problems together as opposed to just singular. You know, we wanted to be a, a piece, a family, um, a true unit, and that's what it's going on. And it's a day-to-day -day process. It involves our whole family. It involves the way we live our life and the friends that we use. Um, it's been a life-changing experience. Um, therapy has been good for both of us, I think. Although Terry Cox was uninterested in reconciliation during the confrontation, her emotions cooled over the next several days, and she has now forgiven Patrick Owens for losing focus of their relationship. Owens explained that he was only flirting with the woman in question and that his intentions were not sexual in nature. For now, his explanation seems to be satisfactory to Terry, and he has sworn off engaging in such behavior as long as they are together. Owens claims that he's not spoken with Michelle Fester since the night of the confrontation. When Cheaters contacted Michelle, she did agree to sign a waiver to be seen on television, 
but declined any further interview and would not comment on whether the two had actually consummated an intimate relationship at the time Terry confronted them together. <laughs>